Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demo here in the UK and my job is to showcase products to you so that I can inspire you on your own paper crafting journey. Mostly I make cards. Occasionally I do make 3D um, objects, um, projects and sometimes even a home decor, but mostly you'll find cards on my um, YouTube channel so if you want to have a look at any more of my card creations just pop below and click click on my name so that you can see all my videos anyway today this is our project this is a project I made for a project share um, blog hop I every week I share projects of some of my uh, my colleagues on my team we do a project share um, blog post and once a month we do a blog hop just the four of us there's four little projects for you to hop around and our theme for this month was celebration and so for my celebration um, project I'm using the lovely sunshine and rainbows DSP some gorgeous patterns in here um, really really lovely really really useful um, I love them and I've used quite a lot already, but I'm using some more today. And I'm going to show you how I made this little card using the same, the celebration free papers. Remember, if you spend £45, you can get this pack. You can see I've used loads of these papers already and there's loads left. There's, a, I think, 48 sheets that you get in this pack. I'm just checking. Yes, 48. So loads and loads. You can make loads of cards with those. Um, so let's start. Right, I'm going to start make, by making my card blank, which I'm using a piece of our basic white thick cardstock because it's going to be my card base and I am going to turn it lengthwise and trim it to 14 centimeters or five and a half inches if you're working in imperial so I'm going to have a five inch square or a 14 centimeter square card so and then I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to score at 14 like I said, this is going to be a square card. And then just burnish that. Fold. And then I should be able to trim off the little bit that's overhanging. Get this out of the way a sec. There we go. And then just... So this end should come to 14. And that should line up with the edge that we've got there, which it does perfectly. And there we are. There's my card blank. Now, before I carry on, I'm going to show you the paper that I'm going to use. So on here, I use this lovely pool party paper with little hearts on it. This time, I'm going to use one of my favourite papers from the pack, which is this multicoloured polka dots. I love it. And I thought it would be really nice and jolly on a card with the rainbow. So I'm hoping it will look OK. So I'm going to trim this down. Oh, let's do let's do our backing. I'm going to use on my previous card. I used Bermuda Bay as my backing. Today I'm going to use polished pink. Still one of my favourite favourite um, colours. And we're going to cut this down to. Just trying to think what I did. Fourteen. I think I did it thirteen and a half or thirteen point four. I'm going to do so. I get a three cent three millimeter um, border around the white. So. 13.4 there we go my husband is going great guns on his guitar next door I don't know if you can hear that whether you can pick it up but it's being quite noisy on his guitar I bought him a new microphone for Christmas and I think he's been playing trying it out today it means he has to be on full volume I think um, okay, so that's my backing for here. So let's see how that layers onto here. Make sure that we've got the measurements right. That was fine. So we've got a little board around there. And then with my um, DSP, I'm going to cut that down to 12 point... Actually, I'm going to do it three centimetre, three millimetres again. So it was 13... Four, and now it's 12.8 so just decide what size you'd like your borders and then cut accordingly I'm hoping this is going to be the right size yes I think it is so that's going to layer on there so let's get gluing we'll glue all this together so I'm going to glue the DSP onto the 
card stock first of all. A little bit of Tombow liquid glue. As you know, I like liquid glue because it gives me a bit of wiggle room and it gives a really nice um, adhesion that's not going to go anywhere. Occasionally when I've used other forms of adhesive, they dry out a little bit. And so if it's, if it's a card that somebody's had in their collection for a while, it can deteriorate. Whereas with uh, wet glue, with Tombow, I find that doesn't happen. Right, so I'm placing this to try and get the same border all the way around. Um, is that more or less there? Yes, I think so. There we go. So we've got equidistant borders all the way around. And then that, I'm going to use Tombow again to layer this panel onto my white card blank. If you didn't want to do as many layers, you could just use a polished pink card blank and miss out the white. You could just do that. But I quite like having lots of layers. It does mean the card is very nice and sturdy, which I like. I don't like flimsy cards at all. Right, so again, bringing in my silicone brush to spread out the glue. Gives you a very, very thin layer of glue that's gonna adhere really quickly um, and be very, very strong. That won't all ooze out and spoil your product, your project. There we go. So there's our card blank. Now we need to make the central image. So let's pop that away for a sec. And then just decide what we're doing here. So what I have done is I've taken the dies that go with the Rainbow of Happiness. So we've got the dies here. And I have used... Oh, I'm, I'm a cloud. Oh, there it is. I thought I'd lost a cloud. Um, I've got the rainbow, which I have die cut from a piece of Whisper White. It can be thin Whisper White, but basic Whisper White. white. Basic white, the normal basic white can be. And then I've die cut some of the clouds as well, which I don't quite know what I've done with them at the minute. Where did I put the cloud? Oh, there they are. No, that's not them. Oh, excellent. Don't know what I've done with them. I hope they'll turn up before I need them. <laughs> what did I do with them, honestly? Oh, just give me a minute. Talk amongst yourselves. I did die cut them, so they can, must be here somewhere. Oh, well, I might have to die cut on camera in a minute because I've got no idea where they have gone. I will find them as soon as I finish. They will turn up, but I really, really can't see them. Anyway, let's do the rainbow first. So the rainbow I created by cutting out this die, die cut and then taking one of the pieces of paper from the um, pack, from the sunshine and rainbows, and layering this over top, and it fits exactly and just gives you a really nice, so it's, this is a quite a chunky rainbow. If you do it over here with the white in between, it's quite a nice one. It's a really quick way of doing a rainbow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the rainbow. I've got no idea where those clouds have gone. How frustrating. Never mind, it won't take me a sec to cut out more. Um, right, we're going to put some Tombow glue on the rainbow. like so there we are and then we're going to layer this on top of our rainbow so that we've got the rainbow showing through the die cut that's really nice really i love how these papers coordinate with the dies as well Right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down so that it's eight inches square. So I'm going to, you've got this one to, as a guide. I'm going to cut this one down. So about from the top, let's have a look. It's about a centimetre from the top of the, rain, the rainbow. So let's see, would that be enough? Like so. And then turn it round and do it. You can get it to eight now and you can trim down. And then we just want to trim a little bit off the sides to bring this way round to eight as well. Of course, measure it and mark it before you do it if you're not quite confident. 
I just do it by eye, things like this. But if you're not confident, then do, do measure it. And that's done. So that's like a little, like so. And then before I glue it to the panel, or oh, we need to cut another panel, but I haven't done that yet. Let's take my message. Now, my sentiment today, I'm not going to do just a note. I'm going to do happy birthday, and I've taken it from the Sweet as a Peach um, set, which is a really nice happy birthday. I'm going to do it in polished pink, tie it all in. Um, and it's photopolymer, so hopefully I will be able to tell whether it's straight or not. Excuse me if my head is in the way. Just trying to see where that is. Let's hope that's, oh, that's perfect. How nice is that? And it matches perfectly with the pink of the paper. So then we need a piece of um, petal polished pink to layer this onto, which needs to be eight and a half. So we did eight centimeters for the square. This is the square to layer it on needs to be eight and a half centimeters if you're working in inches just take it down by a quarter of an inch oh so that is about eight and a half so that's fine don't need to cut that one down and then this is going to layer onto here like so and then we just need the cloud we can glue this to our card blank and then we just need to find some clouds, which I may have to recut because I've got no idea what I've done with them. They must be, I'll find them as soon as I come off camera. I know I will find them. Um, but there's no point saying that if I can't find them at the minute, is there? So let's mount this on our panel. There we go. and bring back my card blank. Oh, that's quite fun, isn't it? A bit like a children's birthday card now, don't you think? Be a fun card for a birthday card for a child. We want to get this centrally on our card if we can. There we go. Now, so let's recut some clouds to go on our rainbow. So I'll just get rid of my grid paper, bring in my mini. Luckily, this only needs one pass through because there are enough. there's um, four little cloud, well, three cloud dies, but one of them has got two clouds on it. So, and then just pass this through. You can see this, you can see where I have die cut them. So, but I don't know what I've done with them. How disorganized can you be? There we go. There we go, there. Which is what I did before. No idea where they are. Oops, don't want to lose my dies. Put them back there. There's my die cuts. Oh well, I'll be able to make another, when I find the clouds, I'll be able to make another project with them. They're quite sweet little clouds, these, in this die set. I've got the cloud punch, but that's a little bit big for projects like this. Right, and let's bring our card back in, and some dimensionals back in, and our tweezers back in. And just put a couple of little mini dimensionals on the back of each of these. And we need one more. We don't need don't need two. We don't need four clouds. We only need three. There we go. There we go. And take off the backing. And just place them wherever you like, wherever you think the cloud should be. So one there maybe. Do 
do more if you wanted to. It doesn't only have to be three, but I quite liked it with three. One down here. And another one up there. And so there is my Celebration Rainbow card. Two different versions. Just by set, changing the um, backing paper and the colours. Just look how different that looks. So, I hope you like my project. Hope you like that. Hope it might inspire you. I love how this rain, rainbow looked. I think it's so, so lovely how that works. And you get loads of them. You get four sheets of this in the pack. So, you have loads of rainbows to do that with. So, you can make a whole set of those cards if you wanted to. Thanks so much for watching. There, you can go down to the, look at my shop below. Do pop over to my blog and have a look at what I've been up to on there. Or my social media. So it's Jill Chapman St Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator on Facebook or Paper Daisy Crafting on Instagram. And you can follow me on either of those. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a lovely day and I'll be back really, really soon with another project. Thanks for watching. Bye.